coming to the next tool okay we can see here an option called desktop okay so what basically desktop mode okay as the name suggest what basically desktop mode is uh, suggest is that for example if i am having a ppt with me okay if i am having a ppt file with me i have opened this ppt file in ms office right okay if i want to annotate and uh, teach the students in the uh, ms office or the ppt file what you can use you can use the desktop option so uh, if i am tapping on the desktop what happens is that the sense board will get minimized but you can have the some tools options will be here okay the first one is the pen tool okay as i have already mentioned you if i am having a ppt with me and if i want to annotate and teach the students what we can do go to the desktop mode okay if i am uh, for example i have opened a ppt file okay if i want to annotate a particular portion and if i want to teach that okay you can use the option desktop mode after tapping on the desktop mode the sense board will get minimized along with that you can see some tools are available here so the first option is the pen tool okay so you can adjust the gauge you can select the color you need and what have for example if i want to take this picture onto my sense board okay what you can do you can tap on to the third option okay and you can see the first option is the full screen that means it will take a screenshot of the entire screen okay the next one is the rectangular that means you can crop a particular portion and that particular portion will get uh, copied to the sense board third one is the free hand you can draw accordingly with your free hand uh, okay for example the first option i will uh, full screen okay if i am tapping on full screen what happens is that that entire screen will get copied and it it, it, it will get redirected to the sense board okay and next option is the rectangle okay in the screenshot option full screen means the entire screen will get uh get uh, copied next one is the rectangular okay if i am tapping on rectangular and if i want this particular image what we can do we can just crop this image after that click on tick and that particular portion that you have selected it will get copied directly to the sense board okay the next option in the desktop okay the last option is the free hand okay freehand means if i want to i am drawing the outline of this with my hand itself what happens is that you can see the outline will get copied on to the sense board okay so first one okay in the desktop mode first one is the pen tool second one is the eraser tool third one is the you can take the screenshot of the entire screen or a particular portion or by free hand you can take the screenshot and it will get automatically redirected to the sense board the next option split screen okay most of the uh, we are using the smartphone right so in the smartphone also we are having an option called split screen okay split screen option here also so i am tapping the split screen now you can see i have the sense board here along with the ppt that i have opened so simultaneously what i can do with the help of the split screen i can open two software simultaneously and i can teach according so the ppt that i have opened is here 
along with the sense board. So if I want to annotate and teach, what happens? I can annotate on the screen along with I can show the PPT file also. Okay. And two additional options are there. This is for increasing and decreasing the size of the board. And this one is a swapping the sides. Okay. In the similar way, you can see an option here after the split screen you can see an option here a mouse which is used to control the board and then sb sb means sense board if i am tapping on the sense board it will redirect to the sense board so the desktop mode okay what happens is that if i am tapping on the desktop mode the sense board will get minimized along with that we can get additional tools for teaching in the outside source okay so first one is the pen tool, second one is the eraser, third one is the screenshot, fourth one is the splitter, fifth one is the mouse pointer for adjusting and last one is the sense board. Okay, if I am tapping on the sense board, sense board will come.